بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله وكفى وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على عباده الذين اصطفى وبعد The Sahaba رضي الله عنهم asked the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم to narrate to them a beautiful story So Allah سبحانه وتعالى revealed a beautiful story in the Quran and Allah سبحانه وتعالى makes mention of this نحن نقص عليك أحسن القصص بما أوحينا إليك هذا القرآن وإن كنت من قبله لمن الغافلين We have revealed in this Quran for you a beautiful story the best of stories that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes mention of and he says prior to this you had not known this story and the story starts when this young boy saw a dream yusuf alayhi salatu was salam he got up one day from his sleep very happy and he was excited and he rushed to his father oh my father i've seen a dream it was a unique dream إذ قال يوسف لأبيه يا أبت إني رأيت أحد عشر كوكبا والشمس والقمر رأيتهم لي ساجدين. Remember when Yusuf عليه السلام went to his father and told him, Oh my father, I have seen in my dream that eleven stars and the sun and the moon were prostrating to me they were in sujood to me and that is something that was strange his father was a nabi messenger of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala yaqub the prophet jacob may peace be upon him the father understood immediately that this means there must be some elevated status of this young child something very high he had 10 brothers from another mother and one brother from the same mother the one brother that was from his same mother's name was Benjamin or Benjamin in English. His other brothers had different names and they were older than him. They were very jealous of Yusuf alayhi salam. You see, his brothers were born from another mother. Yaqub alayhi salam treated them all the same. However, his children, the others, they had a wickedness in their heart. Unfortunately, they were very jealous brothers. And he knew that if his brothers find out about this dream, because they're also the children of a prophet and a messenger, they grew up in the household of a prophet and messenger, so they might have a bit of the understanding when it comes to dreams, for example, when it comes to the deen spiritualities. So what did he say to his son? Ya bunayya, la taqsus ru'iyaka ala ikhwatika fayakidu laka kayda. Oh my son, do not relate this dream to your brethren because if you do, they may plan a plot against you. They may plan your downfall. And what did he say? <laughs> Indeed, Shaitan, Satan, is a clear enemy against man. He is clearly saying the children are good the youngsters are good but shaitan is who is bad yusuf alayhi salam innocently he related the story to his brothers allahu akbar because he was excited the young boy you know what i seen a dream and in this dream i seen myself this 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 what happened now the brothers they started becoming jealous of him and when he wasn't around they had a little informal meeting where they said إذ قالوا ليوسف وأخوه أحب إلى أبينا منا ونحن عصبة إن أبانا لفي ضلال مبين. This is going overboard. Our father always favors Yusuf and favors Benjamin and favors especially Yusuf over us. And look at us, these ten of us, ten of us, we're all young, we're all mature, we're all strong. Ten of us make a strong gang, a strong group, and our father favors Yusuf over ten of us? No, our father is in great astray. Our father is not aware of what he's thinking of. How could our father favor Yusuf over us? We are those who stand by him, 
Where are those who will help him? Where are those who will be there for him? Where are the young and strong ones? And what's Yusuf compared to us? He's only one and we are ten. And over all this, our father favors Yusuf over us. This is not acceptable to us. And a word from here, and a word from another one, and a third word from here. And the tension just increases in their hearts. So what did they do? They started planning things. So the worst plan came out. Just kill him. Imagine the first thing. Kill him. Or throw him into a far off land. Take him very very far away and get him lost there somewhere. At least then your father will give you a bit more attention. After we do such a crime, who could repent to Allah? This is what they said. So these people are Muslims, they're believers. They grew up in the house of the prophecy, so they know what's right, they know what's wrong, they know what's crime, they know what's forbidden, they know what's acceptable. And they know if they're going to do such an action by killing their own brother or beating him unlawfully, they know it's haram. So they feel guilty about it. So what do we do? He said, we'll do it, then repent to Allah. Let's kill him, beat him, do whatever we have to do, and then we could repent to Allah and Allah will forgive. قَالَ قَائِلٌ مِّنْهُمْ لَا تَقْتُلُوا يُوسُفَ وَأَلْقُوهُ فِي غَيَابَةِ الْجُبِّ يَلْتَقِطُهُ بَعْضُ السَّيَّارَةِ إِن كُنْتُمْ فَاعِلِينَ One of them said, listen, let's not kill him. Don't kill Yusuf. You rather throw him into a well that is unused and cover it up. Maybe a caravan might pass. They'll collect him and take him somewhere else. They'll do whatever they want, but at least we know we wouldn't have killed him. So they accepted that. They realized killing him is too much of a crime. Beating him to death is also haram. Let's take the lesser one. At the end, we'll get rid of him, get the attention of our father. And we did not commit such a major crime. But there's a problem here. Yaqub is so attached to Yusuf and his brother that Yaqub would not let Yusuf go anywhere alone. And they know that's the character of their father. They know that their father loves Yusuf so much that he would not let go of Yusuf to go anywhere without 100% assurance. Without 100% guaranteed that he trusts his people. They spoke about it and they went to their father. قالوا يا أبانا ما لك لا تأمنا على يوسف وإنا له لناصحون. They said, Oh, our father, why don't you trust us with Joseph? May peace be upon him. With Yusuf, why don't you trust us with him? Send him with us. Why don't you trust us with him? Yet we are genuine. We are those who are genuine. We are his brothers. We have such a genuine feeling for him. We want to take him sometimes with us. أرسله معنا غدا يرتع ويلعب وإنا له لحافظون. Send him, please. We're begging you. Tomorrow we're going to play. So when we go and play, send him with us. We'll enjoy. We'll do this. We'll play a bit of sport and we'll do what have you. And we'll come back and inshallah we will protect him. 